Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street, and uh, today I want to go through something that is is really one of those areas that are maybe a little bit confusing for some of the new owners uh, of miners, uh, whether that's the the uh, rack unit or the uh, Bobcat unit. PoE is a uh, is a method for us to power up the units without actually having the power cord uh, applied to the unit, and the benefit of that is that you are able to. Um, I guess forego the need to have 110 volts out where your miner is. If you've got a miner that's installed in an outbuilding that doesn't have electricity or you're on a pole mounted situation uh, in an area or on a roof or in, in a side yard or something like that, that uh, just doesn't have access to 110 volts, then you can go the POE, which is power over ethernet. Um, now, the traditional method here is that you've got your router, and from your router, you've got your Ethernet. And this is assuming that you're going an Ethernet uh, uh, internet supplied system, and that will go directly to your, um, your hotspot. Now, and that would either be a rack unit or a, or a Bobcat or any one of the other brands, but today I'm going to talk specifically about rack and Bobcat. Now... Uh, at your hotspot, then you would actually have to have uh, power. So that would be 110 volt, and you, you know, unless you're talking about the, an, a European uh, power supply or whatever, but it's just for the sake of argument, we're talking about 110 volt. So you've got your Ethernet. Supplying your, your internet uh, connection to your hotspot, right? And then you're powering that hotspot there, and then that goes off to your antenna. Okay, that goes to your antenna. Now, in this situation, uh, if you can't get, if you can't do it with the, if you can't power your unit with 110 volts wherever that's located, then you would have an, uh, this type of situation using uh, some of these pieces of hardware that are really readily available. So you've got your router here, and then, and then you have Ethernet. coming out of your router and then that goes to a and this is just a short little jumper probably in most cases just a little jumper ethernet wire like this and uh, that then would go to what they call an injector injector okay and then out of that injector you're going to have uh, two different connections and here's a here's what an injector looks like Okay, so you basically just plug this into the wall, and then you have basically you have your router going into right here, which is the um, is basically data in, and then coming out of it then is another Ethernet wire that would have then be converted. So once the Ethernet goes into it, then coming out of it is going to be two different things. It's going to be, but it's all going to be supplied through the Ethernet wire. Okay, that then an Ethernet wire coming out of it was just Internet. Now it's Internet and power. Okay, so that's what the injector does. Okay, so you, you supply it there. Now this injector obviously is plugged into the wall next to your router, right? So it's real convenient. So you just have a little jumper wire. This is just a little short jumper wire that's coming out of your router. And then going into your injector and then that goes for up to mm, i'm going to say probably somewhere in the range of uh 300 feet max okay that's about how long you can get away with having a poe connection out to your miner all right so then you're there's your miner Okay, so now your miner doesn't need to have 110 volts supplying it now because it's already got your internet and its power both coming in to it right there. Okay, so, and these are some of the parts and pieces that, um, that I use in a lot of our installations at Helium Street. So this is the injector, okay? And the injector is basically, basically the same uh, for both the rack unit and the Bobcat. So you're only buying this that one device and it, it'll work for both. 
Now, but the one difference here is going to be the, what they call is the splitter. So once your once your Ethernet gets down here, then you're going to have this little device here, which is called your splitter. And what that's doing is it's splitting off, and it's. So you can see that Ethernet goes into it, and then it splits off, and it goes Ethernet coming out of it, and the power. Um, oh, this is for the Bobcat. Yeah. So you can see this then would plug into the back of the Bobcat here for power, and it would be plugged in right there for Ethernet. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Okay. And so let's show you what it looks like for the rack version two. Here's the rack version two. Uh, looks really almost identical to the Bobcat unit. The only difference is that it's got the, um, instead of the barrel plug, you can see that's got the barrel power plug kind of traditional DC power supply plug. Um, and then that's the, instead the rack, of course we all know has the USB-C power there. And then on that side is the ethernet. And so that's how that would work there. Okay. So this is a very common PoE setup. So when people say that uh, these, these devices aren't PoE, ready well that's true because a lot of devices don't require to have the splitter but in this case you know these are P poe capable devices that you just have to buy a little bit of extra hardware to make it happen okay so this uh saves a lot of headache in some cases so i strongly suggest that uh, you guys take a look at it and um of course if you want to uh, take a look at the links in uh, on heliumstreet.com. Uh, we'll have this uh, probably applied in a lot of our different series. We'll have it on our purple series and our blue series. Uh, you could use it in any one of the series. Obviously, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to think that you have, can only use it for uh, a specific application. You can use it for any of the applications uh, that we have in Helium Street. Uh, video series for all the different installation types but you know just to let you know that um, these parts are readily available on Amazon and they're really not very expensive and I did have to search around a little bit to make sure I got the the, the, the types that were um, you know really work for these devices and I use these uh, these splitters and these um, these injectors uh, on a lot of our applications and they do work and I'm really happy with them. So thanks again for watching. And if you, again, if you got anything out of this, please like, and subscribe. It's really helping us out a lot, uh, to make sure that we can reach more people. Uh, the more, uh, subscribers we see and the more likes that we get on our, on our videos, um, the more, um, the more reach that we have with the people in the helium community. So, uh, thanks so much and have a great day.